All right, guys, so here we are uh, doing a real world uh, off grid air conditioning test here in the truck camper. Uh, if you guys caught the video yesterday, I uh, pushed the truck camper out and it's now in the driveway on Saturday. I'll be loading it up. I thought <clears throat> this is a great opportunity to fire up this AC with the camper out in the sun, solar going. Uh, it's about 105 degrees uh, here where I'm at in uh, southern Nevada. And uh, I'm not sure how that sound's going to show up uh, on this, but uh, the AC is running. Um, and uh, it's doing really well. So let's go take a quick walk around the outside. I'll show you guys there's no wires, and then we'll come in and I'll kind of show you what we're working with here. All right, so here's the back. Uh, we've got the uh, little cover pulled down. It rests on that uh, water tank back there. And uh, it's venting and running. You guys see no cords. And if you guys didn't catch that video or if you want to see the camper in a different uh, light, it's a little brighter out here today. Uh, I'm very pleased with it. Uh, I think it's, uh, if I do say so myself, I think it's a pretty good looking camper. Um, I don't, I don't know if I've quite seen anything like this out there. Anyways, let's, uh, you guys can see no cords. Let's get back into the AC test here. All right. So 105 out. It's very hot out there. Definitely very cool in here. Okay, so how does this feel? All right, let's take a look at uh, at the uh, power bank here and what it's telling us. Uh, so as you can see, uh, in the upper right hand quarter, we have uh, 250 or so uh, watts of in uh, solar input. Uh, the AC uh, output is varying a little bit, but uh, we're usually somewhere between like, uh, you know, high 400s to the high 500s keep in mind 20 plus or so watts of that is because i have the lights on in addition um 89 this has been running in there about two hours <coughs> excuse me uh so we went down about 10 percent it's showing that if all conditions remain the same the out input and output uh we could uh, continue to run this till empty till for about another six and a half hours so um that's pretty remarkable capacity guys um, we're this campers in the direct Sun it's been in direct Sun all day <clears throat> and uh, it's you know 105 degrees or so out there and here we are running completely off-grid as you guys saw no wires connecting this camper to it uh, and it's it's a it's a very hot day I mean this is uh, maybe not the most extreme of conditions but uh, um, that's pretty darn hot. Uh, let's see how cool it is in here. Uh, right now it's 83 degrees in here. This, like I said, this has been running about two hours. Uh, direct midday sun. I think it's uh, what are we, about 1.30 p.m. or so. Uh, 2 o'clock p.m. or 2 p.m. Um, so um, I've talked about this in a couple videos ago where I talked about the off-grid AC in a little more depth. Um, these work well on the lower end of the spectrum when you would turn it on in the 80s and 90s, uh, maybe up into 100 degrees. <clears throat> you can turn these on and you know get the whole camper uh, a, a pretty consistent overall temp. You know, kind of like if you had central cooling in your house. Um, now, when you start pushing in the higher temperatures, uh, you know, 105 plus. Uh, this thing uh, begins to work a little bit harder and it it's ha it tends to have a, lar a little harder capacity uh, keeping up with all the air volume in here uh, to the lower temperature uh, or at least it uh, um, it takes longer to get there so you know like we saw it's uh, well now it shows it's 82 but it's uh, it's 82 in here and it's 105 degrees outside uh, we're running AC off grid uh, do I need to say more? Um, I would say this though, just in the, in the more extreme conditions, um, you know, the best cooling effect will still be 
if that wind from the AC is actually blowing on you, kind of like if you imagine you're in your car or something. So, all right guys, so remarkable uh, capability uh, and done on the cheap, uh, it can be done. So let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching.